She looked beautiful, radiant. Glowing with happiness. Right, I'm off. Andy, come to mine tonight for tea. Yeah. What for? Family dinner. Vic and I made an executive decision last night. We don't all sit round a table often enough. With Robert. And the rest of us. You won't have to speak to him if you don't want to. I'll have to pass. I've got a grafting masterclass, rootstock, hybrid roses. You'd rather fiddle around with twigs than spend time with your nearest and dearest. She was here again last night. Who was? Jazz, love. We're open. You're not dressed. I did tell you. Don't let her sleep in. She's been in my room. Not Emma. She, she can't have done long. Nobody's been in. Kane changed a lot. She left this by my bed. Sleeping on the job, were you? Well, obviously not. No, I was in the back watching telly all night last night. The only thing that happened was my mum going back to bed and Doug and Diane coming back from the wedding. But I never left my room. Mum, I saw you. Are you sure it was Chaz you saw, not Emma? Well, unless Emma was wearing my mum's dressing gown, then yeah. Well, all the doors and windows were secured. Nothing had been interfered with. We're the only people with the new keys. Right, I'm sorting this once and for all. Everyone's been so kind. <laughs> no regrets. Other than making my vows with bad hair and makeup, none. <laughs> you? We will make this work, Ben. You know, if ever you have any second thoughts about what we discussed, you can do what you like to remedy that, as long as you're discreet. There's no need. And I promise to spend the rest of my life making you as happy as you made me yesterday. Don't you just love it when things work out? Yes. And they're about to get a whole lot better. My wedding gift to you. Venice? A sweet? Yeah, it's only for a couple of nights, I'm afraid. I hope you're not too disappointed. Not, how could I be? Well, every bride deserves a proper honeymoon, and you will get one. Until then, I hope that this will suffice. Thank you so much. I really don't deserve you. Really? We need some time together, just the two of us. I've already packed, so I suggest you do the same while I sort out a couple of loose ends. We leave in the morning, hmm? be like winning the lottery. This joke of a wedding is the gift that just keeps on giving. Lawrence could have walked away, but he chose not to. He chose to marry me. Your chin on fire with stubble rash from Andy Sugden's beard. Because we love each other. And it's going to take more than one stupid night with Andy to change that. He knew, and he still put a ring on your finger. We started again when we made those vows. He is the only man for me for the rest of our lives together. You can trust me, Chrissy. His heart's safe with me. Oh, Keith, Keith, Keith. Lost something! Oh. <laughs> oh, Carlos from Buka. We've been in bed all morning. I'm late for work and Angel I got her up, got her off safely to school. Oh, you didn't get me up? The four horsemen of the apocalypse couldn't have managed that. You were dead to the world. Snoring, dribbling. Yeah, all right, Jimmy. I slipped back into bed, held you tight, and after the night we've had, you were going to sneak off without saying goodbye. Oh, I'd have texted you some 
Something loving and special like that when you were just sloping off like I was some shameful one-night stand. It's not that. Then stay. Come back to bed. Let me make you some lunch. See, I would, and I was going to, but then I leave myself up out of that lumpy mattress on the floor and saw the hideous plastic furniture. Oh, I've said I'm sorry. And if you were that bothered, then you could dip into that cash mountain you brought back with you from Dubai. Why does everything come down to money with you? If you really loved me, you wouldn't be bothered about the furniture. You just used me for sex. No, be honest. you use me. Oh, sorry, excuse me. I just left my lunch in the fridge. Since when did my wife turn into such a grade-A, five-star, weaponised trollop? Uh, look, I know she's made a mistake, Jimmy, but she deserves better than you, you know? She's been through hell. Arrested, spent the night in a cell in Dubai. She must have been terrified, Jimmy. Arrested? Get off me! When James gets hold of you, you're dead! Kane, come on, put her down, man. Yeah, I will once she's answered a few questions. Ben, will you do something? Help will me! You, uh, well, I'll call the police. No, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Pig! Makes you feel good, does it? Bullying a woman! Doesn't make you feel good, does it? Terrorising Chas? Oh, not this again! You're as mad as she you is! You got in there last night. I don't know how, but you're going to show me. You're not leaving a knife in a room again. A knife? Yes, a knife! Well, no, well, well, she was home with me and Dad. Yeah, we don't have to explain ourselves to him. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Get, get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Leave him! Get Kane, look at her. She doesn't know what you're talking about. It's a matter of you, Phil, but it doesn't wash with me. What? Oh, apparently I'm some maniac who breaks into people's bedrooms and leaves knives behind. You so much to look at her again. I'll do more than you. Do I'll pass, thanks. What do you want? A word with you. I think you might know what it's about. We had her right there. You've got the wrong woman. How did you get so gullible? You heard what she said. She was there all night. Yeah, well, they would say that, wouldn't they? Kane, she was terrified. She didn't know anything about her knife and she couldn't have been putting that on. Oh, yeah, cos nuts like her, they don't lie about anything, do they? Especially not in front of the husbands. It wasn't Emma, it was my mum. What are you on about? Think about it. Why would she lie about coming downstairs? I saw her cane. And, and how would Emma get in here anyway, with one door bolted, a new lock on the other, and me down here all night? Why would she do that? Because if she nails Emma for this, she nails her for the rest of the stuff she's pulled. Serious? You think she's faked it just to set up Emma? She wouldn't do it. Right. Would she? I can't tell you how sorry I am. It should never have happened. But it did. I know, and um, I'm not proud of myself. For not fighting her off? No, she didn't. It, it was all me. In your capacity as hen night stripper? As a mate, I really like Benice. I just... I just wanted to be happy, and I thought marrying you maybe was a mistake. Why would that be? It was stupid and selfish. <laughs> I didn't, for one second, want to spoil her chances with you. I just wanted to be happy. She will be. We both will. Then I'm happy for you. So we'll draw a line under this then, shall we? As far as I'm concerned, you've had your fun. So we'll put it all behind us. But so much as look at my wife again. And I'll make you disappear so fast, it'll be as if you never existed. Public indecency. It's not as bad as it sounds. Not so much public indecency, more wardrobe malfunction, yeah. So I'll leave you to it. Arrested. Deported. I mean, that's about as bad as it gets, isn't it? They're very strict over there. That's why you came home early. Oh, I'd had enough of the place. I hate my job. You got chucked out of the country, but instead of coming home, sitting down and telling your husband about it... Uh, 
I spent the whole flight working it out. I had it all planned, exactly what I was going to say. But then you found out you had to sit on garden furniture. No, I found out that my house was being turned into flats by other people. So you decided to grab our little girl and run? You lost our home, Jimmy. Everything. Maybe. But, unlike you, I never lost my self-respect. Oh. Well, I might have done, but I never lied about it. Yes, you did. Every time I Skyped you, you hypocrite. I was so chuffed when I got hold of you again last night. But now... Oh, you're just as guilty as I am. You're, you're more guilty. And if anyone's a hypocrite, it's you. Couldn't talk to you this morning. Not with everyone there. Got nothing to talk about. Not anymore. I just thought that when you showed up to the wedding, you were going to do something. I was. You're taking your ring off. You were right, Vic. Katie's not coming back. I need to let go. And Bernice was the woman I wanted to let go with. I love her, Vic. I'd made my mind up. I wanted to steam in there and sweep her off her feet. But you didn't. The two of them looked so right together. She looked so happy she was marrying him. I just couldn't. I'm sorry. I can't give her what he can. I want what's best for him right now. It's him. But if it's not her, then who the hell do you think it is? Mum, she's got an alibi. Of course she has! She's not going to stand there and admit it, is she? She couldn't have got in here last night. Nobody could have. You came downstairs, I saw you. <laughs> you can't have. Mum, Mum, look, maybe, maybe you picked it up and uh, you just you took it back up with you. Hang on! You're accusing me? Well, that either, either means that you think I'm deranged or you think I'm deranged and trying to set her up. No, you've been stressed. You've been dropping stuff and burning yourself. That woman threatened me weeks ago. Kane knows. She told me to watch me back. That doesn't prove anything. She wants me to know that she's watching me. And then she's going to choose a moment and she's going to kill me. Adam called. He's sorry, but he's stuck at work. And his phone's off. Robert's not answering. If the rest of us can make the effort, even though some of us had a grafting workshop to attend... And I just know that the cauliflower cheese is going to be well stringy. So we've got a family dinner, but no family. Well, it was a bit short notice. Victoria, it's a bit of tea. It's not the state opening in the Parliament. We all have to eat. We don't do this enough. I promised Jack I'd keep the family together, but we're falling apart. Well, why don't we make it a regular thing? So every two weeks, tea here, no excuses. Just not Wednesdays. Horticultural Nirvana Wednesdays. Oh, it's a shame Andy couldn't make it. A good night with his family is just what he needs. He looked kind of lost this morning. It's because he is. I think you're both going to need that drink. I'm sure Dad would do that for you. You wait till he gets back. I'm an independent woman, Chrissy. I can carry my own bags. I suppose it would be a bit obvious doing it here. 
I've no idea what you're talking about. It'd be much easier when you get to Venice. I mean, he's got a bad heart. All it would take is a bit too much exertion and suddenly you're the merry widow. That's just one step too far. Admit it, Venice. You didn't marry my father for love. I love him dearly. Well, you've got a funny way of showing it, knocking off your ex the night before the wedding. I made a mistake. You slept with another man. I did something wrong and I can't undo it. But all I can do is say how sorry I am from the bottom of my heart and hope that we can move on. My dad deserves better than you. You're just rinsing him, clinging on like the desperate little parasite that you are. Like Robert did to you. How much, Bernice? I'm sorry. It's all about the price tag to you, isn't it? Go on, name your price and I'll pay it. As long as you leave tonight and promise me that you'll never come back. Robert may not have been able to keep it in his trousers, but I can. Not that I've got anything to keep in my trousers, but if I did, I would. Because your father is the best thing that's ever happened to me. He's decent and honest and I love him to bits. And if you can't deal with it, then I'm afraid it's your problem. I couldn't agree more. Dad. Lawrence, I'm so sorry. Darling, could you give me a minute? I'd like to have a quick word with my daughter. So that's what it was all about. Well, you really think Bernice Kardashian didn't have time to get her hair done on the biggest day of her life? I just assumed she was having last-minute doubts. And all the time, she was having a bit of slap and tickle with Andy. No wonder she looked knackered. But it's over now, with Andy. It is now she's got a ring on it. You left it too late. I'm not surprised he's gone to ground. Haven't you got roots to graft, Pet? Oh, permission to go now, is it? Girl talk. You wouldn't be interested? Well, I might just make it if I get my foot down, <laughs> get there for the tea and biscuits. But I take a dim view, Diane. I was willing to make the sacrifice. And we're both very grateful. Go on, off you pop. Well, I wouldn't wait up. So Bernice has gone and settled for second best. Up at the big house. And now she's Mrs White. She'll never have to work again. Just go and get another bottle. Mm. Then we can work out what we're going to do about Christmas. That's going to be very festive. Andy not speaking to Robert. Bernice and Lawrence. You've gone too far this time, Chrissy. I'm trying to save you from making the biggest mistake of your life. She's talking about me. Right. She's annoyed because Lawrence is taking me to Venice tomorrow. Nice. So, you slept with Jimmy then? Hmm. And now he knows about Dubai, thanks to Gobbo Almighty Laurel. Sorry, what about Dubai? They called it uh, public indecency. Nicola. Oh, it was the worst experience of my entire life. I've been traumatised by the whole thing. Thanks for that. Just what we needed, and eight miles away from this place. Well, time for last order, don't be fancy. Huh? Unless you fancy picking up where you left off with Kate <laughs> and his lunatic sister. Tell you what, <clears throat> we'll stay clear from now, will I? Good job I got a bottle of water. I don't want you to be unhappy. Then accept who I love and why I love her. But she slept with another man hours before she married you. You did, in a manner of speaking. I have forgiven her, so why can't you? Bernice is my wife now. She's a part of this family, whether you like it or not. So, if you can't live with that, you know what you can do? Dad, you wouldn't... You are either with me or against me, Chrissy. Your call. Nicola, how lovely to see you. Would you mind pouring me a glass? Thank you. Oh, 
that's them upstairs. What are they doing? What do you mean, what are they doing? What do you think they're doing? Well... The thing is, I'm not going to be able to erase for some time. Mm. Oh, come on, turn the light on, will you? I suppose you know what it's out that matters. It's not out. That's what we're here to find out. I'll deal with you in the morning. Well, could Tracy be on borrowed time with Robert? The jealousy over Leanne isn't helping in Coronation Street next. You at eight tonight, it's an all-star Mr and Mrs. Then at nine, we're live in the jungle where all hell seems to be breaking loose down under. It's I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs>